Well, far and foremost, I think one of the most important things that people have taken consideration when looking at the ecosystem is what VCs do. VCs are there to invest in startups, in the ecosystem, develop success stories, albeit there's going to be a lot of uh, failures, but develop success stories. So profit maximization, from my perspective, is one of the key things that VCs have to look at. The more they succeed, the more money they can invest in, and that cycle keeps going on and on. There's a couple of other things, non-commercial, I think, are, are key to developing that uh, ecosystem. One is working with other key stakeholders to develop, uh, to educate government and key, uh, well, basically government, on key areas that need to be improved to help this digital ecosystem to grow. Uh, for example, we just partnership, we partnered with uh, Aymina and Etisala to launch a working group and the purpose of that working group is sitting together and identify key areas and gaps in the ecosystem that we need to address. For example, uh, bankruptcy laws, the onshore, offshore uh, for e-commerce in, 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 in the, 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 the UAE specifically. So working to, to lobby again for change in key areas that need to adapt. And far and foremost, participating in events like this where VCs or people, you know, venture capitalists can educate and help and mentor uh, startups to understand and learn more about how things are done and how they should adapt and adjust their business to succeed. Well, see, you know, take a step back. Failure is a very important part of this ecosystem, and and the Arab culture does not accept failure very well. So, I think educating. The ecosystem about failure is a key thing that we need to address. Uh, looking at that, why do they fail? There's a number of different things that you need to look at. So it could be financial related, business related, the business model needs to be adjusted. Uh, uh, the team is not the best thing to take that business further and so on and so forth. Failure, what considers failure, is not doing your best ability to deliver on, on uh, your plan or as a company. So for example, not adapting your business model to the market, not adjusting a, a certain aspect of what you do to make it succeed. Uh, that I feel is one of the key areas that need to be uh, looked at when considering failure. Yeah, well underestimating what the needs of the market are. You know, again, I mentioned that point earlier, yeah. but that is a key point. A lot of entrepreneurs start off with a plan. They go to market, get their funding, start working, but they realize, and they don't adapt quickly to the market needs. Startups are very, uh, very fluid. They need to adjust, fix, m modify, and get their business in line with the market, to what the market needs. Another aspect is not estimating properly what the financial needs so a lot of people underestimate the costs of running a business so that is a key part so adapting your financial base your cash flows to allow for the business to succeed is another key thing that you should look at everyone asks that question i disagree to certain i think any startup that's looking for anywhere from ten thousand dollars to let's say a million million and a half dollars that's abundantly available. There's a lot of people that do that. We invest in that space. There's a lot of incubator startups that invest in that space. The key is, you know, touching upon the failures that we discussed, is they don't adapt their model or their company to ad for that level. So you get your first round of funding, you grow your business, but you don't adapt it to a level that when another VC comes in to, or another company, uh, investor comes in to look at the business, uh, the business is not, has not adapted enough to allow it to succeed. So they won't get that funding. Bottom line, if you have a good business and you believe in their business, you will find money. You need, so basically, and if you don't find that money, you're not looking at the right places. So there's a lot of high net worth individuals, a lot of local VCs, regional VCs, international VCs. So if you have a good business, you'll find money. So I don't think that's the right question to ask because there is money available. It's just you need to look in the right places. Yeah. I'm going to be a bit subjective because we're a very strategic investor. So we're a corporate venture capital fund uh, and we look to invest in media and media related entities. So for me, that is the hottest sector. Content, there's a big gap in the content threshold in the Arab world. Gaming, we love gaming. We think gaming, there's a big gap in gaming in the Arab world that we need to address. 
e-commerce to a certain extent. I don't like the big cash-intensive e-commerce businesses, but I like you know very selective, uh, focused e-commerce businesses. E-learning is another big one, either to be the B2B or the B2C space. I like the B2B more, obviously, because I've invested in one of them. Uh, so I think that uh, those are the key sectors uh, that excite me at the moment. Mm -hmm.